The City Council has decided to change how Leicester will be governed. From May, every Leicester person will have a say on who will lead our city by being able to vote for an elected mayor. This is an important change. For the very first time, every citizen in our city will be able to have a say on who will be the elected leader, not just of the council, but of the city. I'm hoping to be selected as the Labour Party candidate for this new role. I was the Labour leader of the City Council for 17 years, and I'm currently the, the Labour MP for Leicester South, one of the three constituencies which make up Leicester. I'm proud of what Labour has done for Leicester, both nationally in government and locally at the City Council. With Labour, we have seen real improvements to our public services, like the NHS, the schools, and for ordinary families and people across our city, like the families who live here on the Saffron Lane Estate and in all of our communities, which together make up our great city. But we're now facing tough and difficult times because of the government cuts. David Cameron's Tory government, propped up by the Liberal Democrats, are already doing real damage in Leicester. Families here are worried about the future. The cuts are already biting. Leicester needs a strong mayor, elected by the people, with a clear mandate to fight against these cuts, to speak up for families in Leicester. As we fight the cuts to public spending, we also need an ambitious plan for Leicester's economy. Our economic future is important. I want to see new investment coming into our city, with new jobs for the future and for our young people. I want to see new, small and medium-sized businesses thrive here and for Leicester to be a city on the map for business and creativity, nationally and at the European and the global level. For many years I've campaigned for the full electrification of the Middle and Main Line to give Leicester even better connections to London and Central Europe. With East Midlands Airport just up the road, with the right plan and with decisive leadership, we can make sure Leicester has a strong and a dynamic economic future. As council leader, I led the Sydney Challenge programme. I will work with the business community, with our universities and with others to make sure the economic recovery is driven here in Leicester. Here we are at the famous Leicester Market. This is one of our best-known city landmarks and one of my favourite places. I shop here just like thousands of other people every week. It's one of my favourite places in Leicester because it captures so much of what's good about our city. It's busy and bustling. It's about hard work. And it has come to reflect the diversity of Leicester. A place where so many cultures come together. As mayor, these are values that will underpin my approach. Always putting the interests of ordinary Leicester people first. Being proud of our diversity. Protecting and improving what we all like best about our city. When I was council leader, one of the things I was most proud of was the work we did in the city to become known as an environmental trailblazer. Many of you will remember Leicester becoming Britain's first environment city. Protecting the environment around us for future generations and promoting sustainability in everything we do has always been a priority and an interest of mine. I've worked actively on environmental legislation in Parliament and I'm proud now to be a Shadow Environment Minister. Climate change, as we all know, is the biggest challenge facing us, and we need to see global and local action. I will work with our communities to build on the excellent work done by the Labour City Council to make sure Leicester leads the way on this. 
I want a sustainable Leicester with every generation and every community involved in tackling climate change and protecting the natural environment around us. As Mayor, I want to see Leicester as a place where every young person can achieve their full potential. In recent years, we've seen brilliant improvements in our schools. New schools and buildings have made a real difference, providing excellent learning facilities for our teachers and our young people. Our sixth form colleges do a tremendous job, offering a diverse range of courses and opportunities for young people across the city. And our two universities, Leicester and De Montfort, play a vital role in the city, providing excellent degree courses, but also putting Leicester on the map with cutting edge research across all fields. I'm appalled at some of the recent announcements from the Tory and Lib Dem government. Plans to increase university fees as well as to axe the educational maintenance allowance for college students. From Sure Start children's centres right through to our colleges and universities, Leicester has always invested in and backed its young people. As Mayor, I will do this, making sure it continues to be a city that promotes aspiration and supports our, all of our young people. This is an exciting and a challenging time for Leicester. Exciting because for the very first time, every Leicester person will be able to vote in May for an elected mayor. Someone to lead the council and to lead the city with a direct mandate from the people. Challenging because of the government cuts and what they mean for our communities. I will always speak up for Leicester. I want the best for our city. The city which is my home, and which I've been proud to serve as a teacher, a youth worker, a councillor, a council leader, and now as one of its MPs. The city I love, and the city I would be honoured to lead as its first elected mayor.